the country Mouse's heart was pounding. He turned to his friend. Goodbye, a moth. My simple plate of food, nibbled in peace, tastes much sweeter than all of your fancy dainties. Then the country mouse ran all the way back to his home in the fields. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't wake you, did I? It gets far too quiet this time of night. Especially in the lycanthropy ward. Yeah, I'm the night nurse on call tonight. I'm Melody, and you should be heading back to sleep. <laughs> well, even though you're meant to be asleep, you just made my job a whole lot easier. I just, um, I just need to change out some of your bandages, monitor your condition, and make sure you're comfortable and all, but... Usually all that happens when you're asleep. Hmm. One of the side effects of being inflicted with lycanthropy is severe exhaustion, so it's a wonder that you're awake right now. Uh, let me check your chart real quick. Okay. You've been here for the last week, correct? And your chart says you're doing quite well. You should make a full recovery soon. Hmm. Has the doctor not explained it to you? Well, I suppose being tired all the time isn't conducive to your remembering a whole lot. Where do I even begin? You remember how you ended up here, correct? Yes, you were chased down by a figure on the night of the new moon and was bit creature that bit you is called a lycanthrope. Many species, humans included, often get them mixed up with werewolves, but they're not. Werewolves are wolf shifters who transform into wolves every full moon. They are in complete control of themselves throughout the process, and even if you are bit by one, the worst that'll happen is a topical infection if you don't get it sorted out. Lycanthropes, on the other hand, are creatures who are affected by a curse. No one knows the exact origins of the curse, but aside from werewolves, the curse can affect anyone of any species indiscriminately. Yes, studies have shown that those who have been affected by lycanthropy are not in control of themselves when they transform and only seek to spread the curse by means of biting and scratching their victims. Those infected display signs of wolf-like behavior preferring raw meat, for going all over their body, etc. Hmm. But luckily, you were rushed to the hospital pretty soon after the attack, and the lycanthrope who bit you was apprehended, and is receiving treatment as well. Yes, it is entirely treatable, and you will be able to go back to your normal life afterwards. Of course, you have the right to know what's going on in your own body after all, now, since we're here, I'm going to check on a few of your vitals, okay? Of course, I'm sure you have a ton of questions, so please feel free to ask away. Okay, I'm just going to check your eyes real quick, alright? Please keep them open for me. I'm just going to shine this light into your eyes really quickly. Alright, I'm on the other side. This ward is specifically for patients who have been infected with lycanthropy. Most, if not all, of the doctors who specialize in the field are either werewolves or witches. Werewolves for obvious reasons, and witches, well, it's quite self-explanatory too. <laughs> uh, okay, please hold still for me. I need to take a look at your ears, alright? receded compared to when you first arrived. Um, are you alright with me doing a hearing test? Okay, 
All I'm going to do is whisper a few words into your ears and I'd like you to repeat it back to me, okay? Alright, ready? Okay. Cloud. Smoke. Croquette. Calico. Stiff. good. You're healing quite quickly. Now for your heart and lungs. I'm just going to put the stethoscope right here, right on your chest. So please breathe normally for me. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Now breathe in. And out. Good, good, good. Everything looks fine. Your body is still fighting off the residual bits of the curse, which is why your lymph nodes are a bit swollen. And, um... the hero in these sorts of situations. Your comfort and care is our number one priority. Of course. Alright, let's take a look at your bandages now. Let's do okay. Have you been having nightmares by any chance? Of you being chased through the woods? Yeah, that's a pretty common one, but don't worry. You're safe here. The reason why I ask is because some of your bandages seem to have come off, but that's okay. We'll replace them, right? Okay, so hold very still for me. I just need to apply some ointment onto them and then we'll patch you up, okay? Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to apply the ointment very generously.
aside from the slight fever and the swollen lymph nodes, your chart today is looking a lot better than last night's. Mm -hmm. So I want you to continue to prioritize rest. If you notice or feel any discomfort, please let the staff know immediately. You, you know how to work that. Yeah, very good. Alright, well, it's time for you to head back to sleep. Mm -hmm. We have to keep you well rested so you can heal as fast as possible. Yeah, of course I can stay with you until you fall asleep. That's no trouble at all. Yeah, I have to input your chart into the system anyway, so don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Do do rest. Okay, and I'm gonna just start my... I see. No need to explain. I completely agree. This place is far too quiet at night, and it can be incredibly unsettling. Hmm. Um, when I first started working at this hospital, I was convinced that this place was haunted. <laughs> I refused to go into any room without letting someone know where I was going, and I hated, hated coming across patients who slept quietly because it was just far too unsettling. It, um, it only took about a week for the doctors and nurses to get annoyed by my skittishness. As I said, most of the medical staff on this floor are werewolves and witches, and the one species spirits and ghosts will never mess with are witches. After that, um, the work got a lot easier. <laughs> oh no, I'm not a witch. Just a regular human. Mm-hmm. Hmm. To be honest... Learning about magical ailments and illnesses was far more interesting than learning about the human stuff, but I suppose if you asked the mythics on staff, they'd say the opposite. I suppose it's because we're all predisposed to be intrigued by things we don't understand, or at the very least not used to. like me to read you a book to help you fall asleep? Of course. I like to carry one around with me during my night shifts. It helps make the time pass by a lot faster. And it takes my mind off of the potential hauntings. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we have tonight?
Namaste.